Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel today. I have Baby Tink. Tink is painted by Valera Reborn Baby and I am going to um, put her back on her little romper that she had on but I just wanted to show her up close and personal. I don't know that I did that with her already on, on here but um, I know I've went on and on about how much I love her and I do. Um, but I also wanted to touch on a topic that um, that is very, it, it's a big deal for me. Um, it's something that that um, I see, you know, take place a lot in the community. Um, number one, um, there is tons of collectors out here. We all collect for different reasons. I spoke about that in the last video. Um, we all have our different preferences and tastes in our dolls and some of us may agree on what's beautiful and some of us may not um, some of us may agree on what's realistic and what's not um, me myself I have actually had to stick my foot in my mouth when I've actually said something was not realistic and then someone will cross a picture of a baby a real baby on Google or something like that or one in the store or something and they looked so much like a doll that I seen and I was like oh my gosh so that really does exist so we can't really necessarily act like we've seen every single baby in the world i think that we most speak on what's common most common you know um so that's you know that's that um i think so Okay, first, let me stop right here. If you guys are not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave your comment so that I know where you're thinking, if you enjoy the video, um, if you want to hear a little more or something, you have questions, um, leave a comment. If you want to be a part of my um, Chatterbox, which is a paid channel mem membership, it is $1.99. And you have to be at least 18 years to join. Um, the link is in the description bar. And you might see a join now next to your um, your subscribe button. A lot of times you have to go on your desktop. Um, if you're on Apple products sometimes it doesn't always work as well. But anyway. Um, so this little baby is super beautiful. And I'm going to show her up close and everything. One of the things that I, I noticed, and it, it's never going to really change, I'm sure of that. Um, it, it lasts for a little bit. People play the role and pretend, and then they go back to their same selves um, because we are who we are. Um, and who you are inside is the core. No one can influence you to change. You have to change yourself. You have to want to change. You have to see a need to change. So I don't, I don't mean to be preachy, but... Like me, I can genuinely compliment another artist on their work. I can celebrate their success. Um, if an artist, you know, gets a big, you know, prototype and I know that's something they've wanted for a while, I can congratulate them and actually mean it. You know, people will congratulate you, but do they really mean it? They're thinking like, how does she get that? Oh, she just da 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 da. Like never just congrats and leave it at that. Um, who was that? T. Grant and uh, Beautiful Ethnic Reborns made a post the other day. And I, where is that thing? Because it was so, it was so wonderful. I think I, I saved it, the, the, what she said. She said, women need other women in their lives who think they are a big deal. No competition, no backhanded comments, no jealousy, no hate. Just I love you, I support you, and there is no one on the earth like you kind of energy. Let me read that back to you guys. Women need other women in their lives who think they are a big, a big deal. No competition, no backhanded comments, no jealousy, no hate, just I love you, I support you, and there is no one on earth like you kind, kind of energy. Now, I, I will say, I, I won't say, it feels good. I'm not going to say that you absolutely need, but it does feel good when you do have those type of people surrounding you. Um, you have to learn to love yourself and be enough for yourself and know your value and your worth and not just say, oh, I know my worth, I know my worth, but you're second guessing yourself and you're not 
you're 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 lowering your your value because you're afraid of what someone else may think of you or what they think you're valued at. And that's rather it's dolls or just your life period relationships with your man, your girlfriend, your your cousin, your mama, your best friend, your whatever, your colleagues, your whatever. Um but why I say that I, I feel like a lot of people get intimidated and afraid if they say, oh, this artist's work is good or if it's beautiful, um, um, it's going to take away from them. Like they feel like, oh, my gosh, that's going to take off of my plate. Now people are going to stop looking at my work and go look at it. No, 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 that's not necessarily true because we all have our own unique things that we do with our babies that collectors like if that's the case i would not be collecting anyone else work i would just collect my own because i i can paint my own babies but that's i like something that these other artists have that is unique about their style something that i don't do and every collector have that thing they have something that they like so they're gonna always you're gonna have your your customer base i'm gonna have my customer base the next artist is gonna have their customer base. it doesn't make sense for us to be fighting and going against us where it backfires on us what a lot of artists don't realize is when you get in the forums and you start tearing down this other artist right so like say you be like oh yeah her work you know she don't do this she don't do that remember you're gonna be judged by that same standard and when your time come around and you be less than perfect and something go wrong everybody's gonna remember how perfect you were when you were get talking against that other artist and then they're gonna grade you even harder so or you might not have experienced this particular problem or issue yet so now you feel like, oh yeah, because my work, I never, it never happens with my work, or it never this, that, another. Oh, and you know the super, you know, one eight hundred saver, you know, collector comes in, the artist with the big capes that come in. I can fix it. I will take care of you. That artist is a scumbag. I got you. I'm artist the great. And they come in and they, they, you know, try to squat on the other artist's work and show they're the better artist and they're going to fix their mistakes and all this and stuff. And they do this publicly. It's the difference if they were probably say, hey, you know, maybe even say, I've, I've, I've experienced this before. I've seen this before. I might be able to fix it for you. That's one thing. But to get up there and be like, oh, look what I did. I fixed this artist's work. It was doing this and it was doing that and all this stuff. And then one day, oh my gosh, lo and behold, here we go. It happens to you and you're like, oh, <gasps> And the collector writes you and say, yeah, the baby you painted for me, I got it here and it's got this going on or that going on. And you're like, <gasps> me, perfect me, you know, then you go to thinking your wheels are turning. Some of you don't because you're so, still so arrogant. You feel like you're still better than everybody. You don't think about it, but that same collector could go out and put you on blast. You know what I mean? So don't be so happy to be excited about somebody else's downfall or bloopers or whatever um i think that we're we're not in it together but we're in it together like i don't feel like artists should be teaming up against collectors either i don't feel like collectors should be teaming up against artists because we all make this community artists are not anything without collectors to buy their work and collectors aren't anything without artists creating the work and artists is not are not anything without the sculptors so the sculptors are the top of the food chain in my opinion so we should be definitely supporting them and giving them their their flowers and their praise for the work that they do because they give us the canvas to paint on so then it comes down to the artists and then the collectors so it's it's a circle of life in in here so for me i can say without a conscience this baby is freaking amazing I love her. I love Belira's work. I love, you know, all the babies that I have in my collection for whatever reason. I don't care. Maybe they have a little flaw somewhere. You think I'm going to highlight it? Absolutely not. Because guess what? I don't know if we call, should be calling it flaw. It's handmade art. Hand painted. Handmade. It is, you know, it's what makes the baby unique. So we we have our different paint styles, but I love it. Um, 
believe it or not, when I, at one point, I used to be like, uh, you know, all that baby is is shading. But let me tell you something about shading. When it's shaded perfectly, right, in all the right places, it makes a difference. It, it, it adds a level of realism. And it's just amazing. I love it. I love, 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 love. So, um, a lot of times, too, a lot of people that do a lot of speaking against different artists and stuff like that, like, say, for instance, you're a collector and you, oh, I'm trying to, okay, and you absolutely love this one particular artist's work. So then, you know, everybody else, of course, you're, you're not familiar with, but it's one thing, I mean, I have to be careful here because I've been accused of this. Um, it's one thing to say you absolutely love a particular artist's work. It's a different thing to say that, um, basically, like, say, for instance, if you collect on a level of you only, you have a cap. I don't spend over $800 for a reborn. It is like if you've never had the babe, another baby, and I'm not saying just because you spent over $800 that it's going to be a nice baby because we've already established that you can get trash at two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000. We, we've already established that. But let's say you get another baby in your collection. I mean, you haven't gotten another baby in your collection. You, in my opinion, are not a good, reliable source to tell me that there's no difference between a, the babies in this bracket versus that bracket. How can you speak on something you've never seen in person? Because I can assure you that in pictures and photograph, I don't care how close you get to these babies, you cannot see what people see in person. It just don't. Like right now, it's showing like it's a huge sheen on her leg. But that's the light shining on it. If I take the light away, she's not shiny at all. But the light makes makes her look shiny. So you might be, oh, her babies are shiny. That's another. Like, it's so many things that you can see on camera that's not really there. Or that it's things that you don't see that are there. And so when people around here are saying, oh... It's just as nice as this doll or it's, you know, it's not as nice as that doll. You can't say that. Like even people that say you get your money's worth. That is true in most cases, but not always. You might say, oh, she only paid $500 for that doll. That doll and there's no way that doll is as nice as, you know, so-and-so doll that costs $1,500. You don't know that unless you saw it in person. I was told, I told this story, I was told by someone that saw the doll in person that their work was trash. This person, this other artist's work was trash. But when I got it, I'm like, yeah, where did you get that from? Like, I absolutely love it type situation. Um, here's another scenario for you. I wasn't there, but this is what I've heard. I had heard from several people. There was a time in a doll show where they did auctions. They took some artist dolls and they did auctions. They didn't put the name of who the artist was or nothing. They just showed the babies and then people bid it for them or bought them or whatever. One particular very high-end artist that worked at the time was selling for four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000. Um... No one bought the doll. No, no one, no one wanted it. They bought, they bought the other dolls. They didn't buy that doll because there was no name attached to it. So, and it was in person. So, here's where we have to be careful. Where we want to start giving our, you know, non-factual. 
advice, I guess. I don't know. But you, you're still entitled to your advice and opinion. I'm not speaking against no one because, to be honest, and guys, please don't hate me for this. But I haven't been watching a lot of videos lately um, of other channels or anything like that. So I don't I don't really know what's going on in the world. I'm just speaking on just things that I see in like Facebook forums and just things like that sometime or just out of the blue. I just felt like talking about it. Um, but yeah, um, so sometime it's not about how much somebody paid for it either, but this is why all this stuff, like, is why we shouldn't be to a point where we're afraid to compliment somebody. We're afraid to, you know, give credit where credit is due. You know what I mean? Like, um, I have a couple artists that actually will write me in private and they would tell me, you know, they like my work and me vice versa. Or even on their, their posts. I will comment and say that it's beautiful. There's some that I comment on their work. They never comment on mine. And that's fine. I'm not also one of those people. Some people are so, oh my God, so sensitive. Oh, she never comments on mine. I'm now going to comment on hers. Like, I, I don't, if I like something, I like it. I don't care. I, I'm not looking for a like for a like. Um, a view for a view type thing. Um, but, yeah, so... I just wanted to say that I appreciate all the artists out here that do very beautiful work. I appreciate those that are trying. The only artists or people that are painting that I don't appreciate, and it's not that I don't care about you guys, I, I love your life because everybody deserves to live. I don't deserve to paint, but you deserve to live is those that just like throw stuff together just to try to get people money and like you know like the lady who was putting rocks in the babies and you know like you literally do like this when you get the doll and the paint just wipe off i don't know if y'all remember that and i think she's still around actually selling dolls um i think she changed her name her nursery name i don't i don't know what it is now but those type of people i can, I can do without you know i can i don't i can't say i appreciate that but <laughs> But otherwise, you know, it is what it is. I stay in my bubble and um, I just want to say shout out to those artists out here that's not being crabs in a pot, that's not being hateful, that's not out here trying to tear down other artists just because they're trying to make it to the next level. I think you'll make it to the next level if it's meant for you to make it there, regardless um, on if somebody else is doing well too. So... That is my my story, and I did never get her dress. Look at that little butt. You know, every time I do this, like something like this, I think about Linda. Linda would always twirl those baby legs in some little funny little way. I miss her so much. It's so crazy because it's just little stuff. Like I miss the silly comments or the sidebar messages and stuff but <sighs> god knows best i guess but anyway that is it and um i'll see you guys later